Hello, we are Valda Beam Line Scientists. I'm Konstantin Klementiev. I'm Justus Just. And my name is Kaiser Siegfried and Klaus. And we are the people you will meet here when you com come as a user, because we provide user support to users. We also do commissioning of new setups and new detection methods. Development of uh, gas systems, detection systems, software, everything about the beamline. We are now in the experimental hatch of Boulder and stay close to the focal position of X-rays where we put our samples. This beamline is dedicated to X-ray absorption spectroscopy which we measure in different setups. And we can measure it in a transmission geometry with an ionization chamber or in fluorescence geometry with a STD detector. But right now we are actually doing X-ray emission spectroscopy with our new spectrometer which you can see here behind. I'm standing in front of our new X-ray emission spectrometer. Presently we have built one branch of it. It holds three crystals like this one. This is a silicon crystal analyzer. It is insertable like this. Held by magnets. Uh, then we can use other crystals of different orientation. The most important feature of this spectrometer is that it uses for fluorescence collection the same entrance window so that we can use any transmission setup together with this spectrometer. So here at Baldur we do hard X-ray emission spectroscopy. We have the sample on the experimental table sitting on a Roland circle geometry with the analyzer crystals and the detector that moves up under the table. So the incoming X-ray beam excites the sample, emi X-ray emission is backscattered and we are selecting the energy of interest and that is detected by the detector. The crystal stages and the detector are sitting on stages that can be moved to cover the full range from sulfur to silver K emission lines. We are doing commissioning of a very unique closed cycle helium cryostat at Balder. It can do two-dimensional mapping in the cold zone. It uh, is made of aluminum and so then has no iron fluorescence background for iron samples. And it uh, is suitable for transmission detection, fluorescence detection, and also diffraction measurements. So one of the main functions of the cryostats is to preserve the samples uh, and protect them against radiation-induced damage by cooling it down to 4 Kelvin that this cryostat will perform. And this is certainly needed in the fields of environmental science and life science. We are also set up for robotic sample change in the future, with having this high manipulator moving the sample up and down to the cold zone. We currently accept users for X-ray absorption spectroscopy. You can find all the details about already commissioned sample environments and techniques on our website. We also offer a well-equipped chemistry laboratory which is placed right next to the experimental hutch. On the website you can also find our contact details and please feel free to ask any questions you might have and we are looking forward to welcome you at Balder.